¿Sale listos? Posición salida. En sus marcas. Listos. Se levantan, listos, se levantan la cadera. No despeguen las manos del piso. Está mal, estás mal. Estás mal, Carlos. Listos. Y... ¡Fuera! ¡Vámonos! ¡Córrele, córrele, córrele, córrele! ¡Córrele, Ángel! ¡Toquen la línea, toquen la línea! ¡Hasta allá, Ángel! ¡Hasta allá! ¡Muy bien! ¡Qué bárbaro, Ángel, eh! ¡Chócala! ¡Eso! What is childhood obesity? Childhood obesity is a medical condition causing children to be overweight relative to their age and height. It is caused by a disproportionately greater energy intake through food and drink consumption compared to energy expenditure via physical activity, growth and body processes. What are the main causes and risk factors of childhood obesity? Several lifestyle and health factors contribute to obesity, with the main ones being diet and physical activity. In regards to diet, high-calorie foods containing saturated fats and drinks with heavy sugar content are overconsumed too often. Not enough exercise does not allow for calories to be burnt, while conversely it is a sign the child is living quite a sedentary, inactive lifestyle. Family factors also play a major role. Children of overweight families are more likely to be obese based on the environment around them. If unhealthy foods are readily available and their parents do not encourage regular exercise, it will most likely result in the child developing the same lifestyle habits. Some children will also overeat in an attempt to cope with psychological issues such as stress, boredom or unhappiness. Research suggests genetic and hormone factors also contribute to obesity. Digestive hormones can affect the perceived feeling of fullness, which can lead to overeating. Also, the genetic ability of a child's body to break down free fatty acids can dictate how much fat they burn and how much they retain. Finally, people from communities of low socio-economic status lack access to supermarkets to purchase a wide range of healthy foods and will then turn to fast foods, frozen foods and long-lasting foods, which are very convenient and low in cost, however, have very low nutritional value. Why is childhood obesity a major problem? Obesity in children is the catalyst for the development of many illnesses and diseases traditionally associated with the older population, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, arthritis and some cancers. This means young adults are beginning to suffer from these complications much earlier than normal, which clearly will affect lifelong health and life expectancy. What are some consequences of childhood obesity? Some consequences of childhood obesity include type 2 diabetes, asthma, certain cardiovascular illnesses such as high blood pressure and high cholesterol. The main problem is that while cardiovascular illnesses are often a reality for older people, childhood obesity is bringing upon these illnesses much earlier. Some psychological consequences are low self-esteem and body image perception, depression and eating disorders. Here is a brief summary of some statistics showing the countries most affected by childhood obesity in regards to gender. How many children worldwide does obesity affect? As of 2013, it is estimated 42 million children ages 5 and under are either overweight or obese, with approximately 31 million coming from developing countries. This is extremely alarming considering it was once believed obesity was only a problem for rich nations, the ones who had an overabundance in food resources. How can we, as a society, prevent childhood obesity? Having a balanced lifestyle and ingraining good habits into children from an early age will set them on the right track for a healthy life and help to reduce the amount of obese children in coming years. Preventing obesity or losing weight is not just about the cliches of eating much less food, but to provide children with nutritious meals and snacks with appropriate amount of calories per recommended daily intake. In regards to fast food and high fat, high sugar foods, the best way to educate children is to allow it in moderation. 
This provides a practical implementation of diet balance. Children will always want junk food, but with regular reminders, they will have responsibility and good self-control over eating habits when they are not under adult supervision. Here are a few diet tips for children. Provide children plenty of fresh vegetables, fruits and whole grain products. Consume low fat or no fat dairy products. Choose lean meats, poultry, fish, lentils and beans as a source of protein. Allow junk foods only in moderation and at appropriate times and be mindful of serving portions. The other primary action to prevent obesity is exercise. Growing children have so much energy to be used, but if they live in an environment that does not encourage physical activity or does not provide the means, children turn to sedentary activities or can become rest restless in behaviour. Physical activity for children does not need to be long or complicated. Putting aside half an hour or an hour a day where children can run around, swim, dance or play on park or sporting equipment will lay the foundations for an active lifestyle. Here is a case study looking at one example of an extreme case of childhood obesity. This story looks at Shuman Katun from India, a severely obese girl. By only age 6, Shuman was 106 centimetres tall but weighed in at 91 kilos which is 5 times more than the healthy weight average. She was born at a healthy weight, however her appetite developed when she began drinking milk. In one week, Shuman would typically consume 14 kilos of rice 8 kilos of potato, 8 kilos of fish and around 180 bananas on top of the regular sweets she would also consume. Her obesity problem and dietary requirements have large consequences on her family. Her father's £10 a week wage is, is almost exclusively spent on her diet. The amount of food she eats is enough to feed a family of four. Her diet and lack of exercise has had severe effects on her fitness as she is exhausted after walking for only one minute. Schumann's story shows the increasingly rapid spread of global obesity. In this day and age, while many children are unhealthy and inactive, there are also many who live fit and active lifestyles and excel in their extracurricular activities. Here is a compilation of these children. Childhood obesity has become one of the biggest health epidemics of the 21st century. Obesity in childhood is causing adults to suffer illnesses and disease at a much earlier age than normal. 
Children in developing countries are suffering obesity, which had not previously been believed to be possible, and a generation of children worldwide are growing up overweight and unhealthy.